Why do people live in a world created by God and act like he does not exist? They move through life, never acknowledging his breath in their lungs, the provisions he gives, and the goodness they experience this side of heaven. Many spend more time and effort researching a used car than they do spending time considering eternity. Which is incredible, considering that our souls are eternal. The popular motto today is, You only live once, so fill in the blank. Creating a bucket list has now become a popular thing to do, because we are taught to get the most out of this life because it is so short. What is interesting is man is fully aware of the brevity of life and that we only get one chance, but they completely miss the lesson that it is meant to teach them. Why would people reject God knowing the brevity of life? Why do they give no consideration for eternal matters, but focus solely on the here and now? Scripture has a lot to say about this. Consider this. He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts, except that no one can find out the work that God does from beginning to end. I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. Nothing can be added to it, and nothing taken from it. God does it, that men should fear before him. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 11 and 14. So the Lord has put a built-in awareness of eternity into men's hearts so that we are conscious that this life will not satisfy and there must be something more after we die. Scripture also says God has built into mankind another form of of awareness, right and wrong. For when Gentiles, who do not have the law, by nature do the things in the law, these, although not having the law, are law to themselves, who show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and between themselves their thoughts, accusing or excusing them. In the day when God will judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. Romans 2, 14-16 So God has placed the law within every man's heart in order to show accountability for one's actions. That the choices we make really do matter. That we will give an account to our creator for the life that we lived on earth. So pulling it together... Man is born into this world knowing that life is brief, there is only one shot, and there must be something more, eternity, and that there is a moral lawgiver that we will answer to. So why does man choose to reject God in light of all this revelation? The answer is found in Romans chapter 1. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness because what may be known of God is manifest in them for God has shown it to them for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse. Because, although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man and birds, and four-footed animals, and creeping things. So in verse 18 of Romans chapter 1, it says, Men suppress the truth in unrighteousness. What does that mean? It means, although the evidence from conscience, 
creation, and scripture is irrefutable. Men choose to resist and oppose God's truth by holding fast to their sin. Just as John 3, 19-20 says, And this is the condemnation, that light has come into the world. And men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. Man is inherently sinful, and it is a love for their sin that acts as a barrier to God. They suppress clear knowledge in order to keep sinning. This is a curse indeed. That's why scripture says, Although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. So man's search for meaning and purpose will produce only vain, meaningless conclusions. When man rejects the truth, the darkness of spiritual falsehood replaces it. That is why, apart from turning to Christ and becoming born again, men are like blind sheep wandering through life without a shepherd. They are left to their own futile worldviews to guide them. And in the end, they will still have to answer to God for how they lived and choices that they have made. So in conclusion, if you want to make a real bucket list, my prayer is that the first box to check is turning to Jesus Christ, who is the only way, and placing your faith and trust in Him for the eternal salvation of your soul. Nothing is more important than this. Eternity is forever, and your soul will live on. Do not suppose that you have all the time in the world. This life is a vapor. You're living on borrowed time. And you have a very important choice to make regarding your soul. Choose Jesus Christ.